this we'll throw strawberries out everywhere. <laughs> Are you playing with your fishy again? Fishy in the water. Yeah. Get some tea. All right, y'all. It is now about 2.30, I think, 2 or a little bit after 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So we got everything cleaned up from lunch. When we got home, I was just like, everybody find what you want. So that's what they did. I'm about to go put Manly down for his nap. He said, mm -mm. I'm about to put him down for his nap. And then I'm going to make some strawberry sauce because in the morning I want to do like a little waffle. Y'all have seen me do it before, like a little waffle bar, waffle buffet where I just have different toppings for waffles. And I saw one, was it on like a, maybe it was a Denny's commercial or IHOP or something. And they poured this strawberry sauce over the top. And I was like, I have lots of strawberries. We're making that. So we're going to make some strawberry sauce. So I have that ready for in the morning. And we're gonna make some copycat Chick-fil-A cool wraps. That way I'll already have them ready for lunch tomorrow. And what else was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I'm just gonna slice up some cantaloupe and kiwi, go ahead and have that in the refrigerator. And I think that was it. For the strawberry sauce, we need two cups of strawberries. I think a whole pound will be enough. I have another pound in here if I need to use it, but I'm gonna pick the ones that are not looking the best though to use for the strawberry sauce. And I think that's these. These still look really fresh. Oh, and a couple of y'all, I think somebody sent me a video and somebody may have just said it in a comment that if you keep strawberries in a glass jar, they last longer. So we're gonna take these, we'll use these for the strawberry sauce. I'm gonna put these in a glass jar. You just put them in the glass jar and then you know, you wash them whenever you're ready to eat them, but they're supposed to last a lot longer. We're gonna find out if that happens. And I'll let y'all know in a couple of days if this does help these strawberries to last longer. All right, there we go. Y'all let me know if you've tried this, if it does work. I got a lot of strawberries. I have a few left in this box we'll use for the sauce too. More strawberries in here. I'm looking for a blue bowl. It's got flowers on it. Da -da. <laughs> That's a flower? Yeah, it's got flowers on it. <laughs> okay, y'all, I went to put him down for his nap. Now we'll go ahead and start the strawberry sauce. So we're just gonna wash these strawberries then probably quarter them. The little bitty ones we'll just cut in half, like that one. And then we'll be ready. This sauce, like after we make it in the pot, it has to sit for an hour. So we're gonna start with this first. Then we'll make the chicken wraps. Before we start the strawberries, I'm gonna go ahead and whisk together some all-purpose flour and water. We're using two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, or you can use one tablespoon of cornstarch. And we need two tablespoons of water. We just whisk this together and then we'll go ahead and slice up the strawberries. And I don't have this on yet, it's not on. So are y'all enjoying the time change? I'm happy that it's, you know, not gonna get dark until later. All 
All right, so we've got the flour, the water, and the strawberries in there. Now we're gonna put three tablespoons of brown sugar and three tablespoons of white sugar. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. You can use all white sugar or all brown sugar. You don't have to mix them. I just got sugar in my skillet. What, I'm about to make my chicken in there. We need two teaspoons of lemon juice. I'm just gonna eyeball this and a teaspoon of vanilla. All right, now we're just gonna stir this all together and the strawberries will start to cook down. When we see a little bowl action start to happen, we'll cut it down to simmer and then we'll just let it simmer for about five minutes. After that, we'll throw strawberries out everywhere. <laughs> After that, we'll uh, just let it sit in the pot and cool down for about an hour before we transfer it to a little jar. While that is going, we'll go ahead and get the chicken in our pan over here for the cool wraps. For the chicken wraps, I'm using this Tyson grilled and ready chicken. I have two bags. We have this flatbread. I also have regular tortilla shells, but the kids are all loving this flatbread now too. I think I just have one pack of this though. So yeah, I just have one pack. So whatever we have left over, I'll use these burrito tortilla shells to make some more. We have Colby Jack cheese. I'm gonna shred that up and we're gonna use this Boston lettuce. I'm not exactly sure what kind of lettuce Chick-fil-A uses, but we're gonna use this and that's it. That's all we need. They don't put any sauce on them. They serve it with some kind of sauce. The kids usually like to dip theirs in ranch dressing. I like, right now I'm loving that Southwest hot mustard again. This, it is so good. This is what I'll put on mine or what I'll dip mine in. You could go ahead and put the sauce on them, but since we're gonna have these probably for lunch tomorrow, I'm not gonna put any sauce on them. That way the tortilla shell doesn't get all mushy or anything. And we'll let the chicken cool down before we put the cheese and everything on so it, you know, doesn't melt the cheese. But anyway, y'all, yeah, this stuff, it is very spicy, but it is so good. Back over here, the strawberry mixture is coming to a bowl, so we're gonna turn it down to simmer. This is smelling good, y'all, smelling good. All right, we'll go ahead and put the chicken in here, and then I'll shred the cheese and start washing the lettuce. Here we go, Chick-fil-A Cool Wraps. They put lots of lettuce on them, lots and lots of lettuce. So we're gonna cover this bad boy with lettuce. Then we just put some chicken and Colby Jack cheese. A Little more chicken. And then how they serve them is they just have them split down the middle, but I'm just gonna leave them whole. Well, I'll cut this one so I can show y'all what it looks like. They cut them on the slant. There you go, Chick-fil-A Cool Wrap for much cheaper than they will have you pay for one. <laughs> okay, now let's make the rest. So we ended up getting eight wraps all together. We only have six left though because everybody was wanting to do some taste testing and I have just a little bit of chicken left, a little bit of cheese, and I'm gonna wrap these up and get them in the refrigerator. And we are done in one hour. It only took me about one hour to do this. It's pretty good. Oh wait, I still have to put my strawberry stuff in the jars, but other than that, we're done. And then wash, I still have a little bit to do, about an hour and 15 minutes. 